you know, it's always good to find something like that. It makes you feel good because you found a culprit. Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool, trick, and affordable ways and simple ways for the do-it-yourselfer. We are going to do a standard tune-up, and I'm going to go from the very basics right through it. We've got our OBD scanner, and we're going to plug it in, and you can look around for that little weird contraption right there. And all you do is plug that on, and it lights up. There are some check engine lights on it, so... We are going to go through it here. Now it's reading the codes. And it's got a bad misfire from driving it. The codes are right there. It's got a 301, which is cylinder one misfire. Cylinder two misfire. Cylinder three misfire. Cylinder four misfire. Random multiple misfire detected here's the car and this is what we're going to do to it you can do this do not let people tell you you cannot tune your own car up you can do this i'm serious it's not that hard now since you're doing it you might as well just order the parts for it we've got new coils new spark plugs and new injectors we're going to do all of these things make it simple and make it last we're going to give you every trick we have of the trade first thing we're going to do is take our 303 and what i do anything that's rubber i spray it on my glove my venom gloves which is cool because you can then take and coat your rubber which is at the end of your coil you can coat the rubber up here any rubber on your parts you want to coat. All right, I still have the 303. I'm going to do the rubber seals. Coat those, both ends. It only takes a little bit. Now you can take these off if you have older injectors and they're still good. Soak the seals in 303 for 20, 30 minutes. Set it out in the sun. Let it warm up good on them. But these are brand new, so we're just going to coat them like that. Here's your wiring harness that'll hold the wires for all your coils. Simple. Here's your coil. And your injectors are right back there. All right, the cool part about a lot of the bolts and nuts and screws on a foreign car are 10 millimeter, so that's pretty handy. Now, many people do tune-ups differently from each other. I'm just going to share with you how we do it so that you can do it yourself. We have a bunch of people out there that like to do the work themselves. They just don't have the confidence. They're afraid they're going to mess something up. But I'm going to share with you, you can do it very simply. You can get all the parts, put it together, take the old ones out. It's, it's not hard. take the bolts out for the wiring harness. That way you can get to these clips. See that? You pull them right off once you get this up out of the way a little bit. And take a screwdriver on some of these clips, push that in, and just give it a little boost right there. Now, 
Now, when we get the misfire like that, we don't know if it's the plugs, the coils, the injectors. We're just going to replace all of them because this car is ready for a tune-up anywho. And by the looks of that coil, it's been in there a while. That one looks newer. Washer fill tank. If you have put summer mix in it and you're getting close to winter and you're not sure, you can take and add some 99% rubbing alcohol, half a bottle to this, and it will allow you to use the rest of what you've put in there for your summer mix so it doesn't freeze over the winter and then just move over to your winter mix. Just a little tip there. And I'm also going to do a video on how to make your power steering last a lot longer. Very, very cool, and you'll have no issues with it. You'll love that video. Make sure you set your gap per the vehicle that you're doing. As you can see, I have the same issues everybody else does. Then let's look at the plugs, see if they're wet, see how they look. All right, let me share this with you. Look at that. The porcelain's broke right off, half of it. And you know it went down into the engine, but it probably got shoved out the exhaust valve. But that's probably one of the reasons right there it's missing, I would say. You know, it's always good to find something like that. It makes you feel good because you found a culprit. So there you go. This car is going to run like a charm when we get done. Okay, we're checking the plugs right now. This, it's supposed to be 38 to 44 thousandths, but you can see that gap under there is way more. It's supposed to be like this where it just snugly goes in. We're setting it at 40 thousandths. And for those of you that have never used a spark plug socket, the rubber booty in there is what holds the plug so you can set it back down and pull it back out. Real handy. All right, we just take that and set it down real slow. Hand snug it up. You can find out the torque specs on it if you want to torque it in. That's all you need. Nothing more. When it's tight, it's tight, baby. You can save yourself hundreds of dollars doing this yourself. Those are done. And you know what I'm going to do just for the fun of it? I am going to put the new coils on with the new plug, seeing how we found that really bad plug, and fire this thing up and see how it runs. It may not need the injectors, but that'll be another video. If it still has a miss to it, then we'll do the injectors. How's that sound? What we're going to do is just put the nuts on, and of course I dropped them. You watched, I dropped every one of them. That's what happens, and I'm not deleting that part out. I just want you to, sh I, I just want you to see we run into the same thing here, and it's down, down here. I can see it. I'll just get my uh, long magnet and pick it out of there. And I have to say, these extension magnets are handy little buggers to have. All right, I see it. It's inside the fan, the electric fan housing. See that? We got it. Now watch me drop it again. We use really bright flashlights a lot of the time. Wouldn't that be funny if the thing just purred like a kitten? We'll tighten this up with the bolts if it doesn't 
Miss. Well, you couldn't do that before. It ran horribly. 